I'm Vicki Barbalak. I'm from Rancho Calavero Trailer Park in Oceanside, California, and I'm a comedian. I started stand-up comedy like 20 years ago, so when I auditioned for America's Got Talent, I was totally prepared for the buzzer, you know, not the golden one either. Yesterday, I decided I'd go out to Donnelly Men's Prison for a conjugal visit, and, uh, <laughs> and it turns out, at Donnelly, you have to know somebody. When Simon said, thick air, I usually don't... Love stand-up comedy, I'm gonna be honest with you. <clears throat> but you are the funniest person we've had on the show. I was stunned. I mean, flat out, completely stunned. That was just the nicest thing that's like ever happened to me, pretty much, I think. Aww. It's been like a, it's a dream come true. I knew right then and there that I could keep going. The minute you walk on, you've got this great energy and you are naturally funny. And there's always rejection. But there isn't any tonight. <laughs> you know, every round I got through made me stronger. I have a crush on you and I want Ooh. to take you for a, what do you call it, a Grand Slam at Dinny's? Yes, or? sir. Yes. Dinny's. Vicky Babala! When I got into finals, I mean, it all of a sudden meant that I, I was who I hoped I was. And that I wasn't invisible, that I was funny. I wish everybody could have that moment because it just fills you up. See, these are happy tears. The act leaving the competition is Vicky Barbalak. All of a sudden, it just rose up in me that I did really want this to happen. When I found out I was getting on Champions, I couldn't believe it. And I was just bowled over. And then I was told that I was competing against Preacher Lawson. I'm not even gonna go there in my brain. I'm a huge fan of his comedy, but I am here to prove that I am a champion. Is this more important than being on America's Got Talent? Here we go, gang, here we go. And I am going for the gold. Congratulations on all your success. We were driving through Vegas and we see your face on billboards now. Wanted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't tell him you found me, man. <laughs> Vicky, I just want to ask one question. Many times things happen in life and you don't win. And then the following day you go, what would I have done differently? I'm curious to see what you would have done with all that knowledge you know. All right, have. I'll be right back. <laughs> That's it. This is what she would have done differently. Hold on. <laughs> Dante and Jay, don't leave home without them, ladies. Some trailer nasty action right there. So I just bought the second best trailer in my trailer park. Yeah! <laughs> right? I've been wanting it for years. Now that I'm on AGT, I got a tour, I could buy it, and I bought it. Thank you. Thank you. And my trailer is on the tippy top of the hill. And I look down on all the other trailers. Yeah. I know, now I know what it feels like to be a Kardashian. <laughs> 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 it's for you, Simon. <laughs> so I think I gotta buy a second trailer in L.A. Yeah, because I'm here so much. I'm going around these fancy streets in L.A. I'm walking down Rodeo Drive. <laughs> and there's these skinny, rich people walking their dogs. So annoying. They're all, it's a rescue. It's a rescue. It's a rescue. I rescued it. I'm like, of course it's a rescue. That's a hideous looking dog. Gary Busey is more attractive than that dog, okay? Oh, oh, I mean, oh. like, you know how they say people look like their dogs? I don't want to look like my dog, okay? I want a beautiful dog, okay? You know? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about L.A., I'm thinking maybe I'll get me a little celebrity dog. So I go to Beverly Hills to the fancy shelter, right? And this dog was so pretty, it had long blonde fur, 
and it actually barked with a French accent. Woof, woof, right? <laughs> But as soon as these shelter people found out that I lived in a trailer, they're not giving me that dog, you know? No, they're like, you know, Vicky, a dog is a very expensive responsibility. Could get in an accident, that could cost upwards of $5,000. Are you prepared to pay that, Vicky? I'm like, no, you know? <laughs> well, you know, Vicky, you have to think of it as if it's your daughter. You know, if your daughter is in an accident, I'm like, if my daughter was involved in an accident, God forbid, I would have to sit her down and say, Lily, you're gonna have to limp a little. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Hi, I'm Howie Mandel. Thank you, YouTube watchers and people. If you wanna continue to watch more of this, just click below.